Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and I'm a little sick today, so my voice might sound a little weird. Sorry about that. So I was requested to do the three marker challenge a couple of times. Um, I'm currently only able to capture videos of digital though, so I thought I'd do the three color challenge and create a random color palette from this website called random.org. Um, basically what I have to do is reload and um, it'll give me a new color and then I'll hit generate color two more times and it'll make an entirely random um, color palette for me. So our first color is, oh, like a nice cornflower kind of blue. Um, let's hit it again. Uh, that's a navy and a seafoam green. Wow, that's actually a really nice mix of colors. So, okay, I'll just um, screenshot that, put that in Photoshop and then we can start drawing. I wanted to only use the colors I was given, so I'm doing my sketch in that light seafoam green kind of color, even though the sketch won't really be in the final piece. As usual, I approach the sketch just by quickly drawing out like the basic shapes. Um, I wanted this girl to have sort of a winged kind of look to her eye, um, because I don't do that too very often, and I was thinking, trying to think about what design I should use with these colors. Um, I immediately thought of both the night sky and the ocean, so um, I was just trying to sort of figure it out on the fly. Usually when I'm trying to design something um, that's really like thoughtful, I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what their design could be to help inform their story, but for a little challenge like this, um, I think it's fine just to draw whatever comes to mind and just um, sort of enjoy the process of drawing rather than making anything too fancy. It's fun sometimes just to, to relax while you draw and not worry too much about what exactly you're doing. <laughs> um, I don't do that a lot anymore just because of the nature of my school. I know that this is kind of a stressful time of the year for a lot of people. A lot of people are doing finals, myself included. I'm <laughs> the reason, <clears throat> well, my voice. Um, I'm sick and I, I'm doing finals, so that's that's really tough and that's part of the reason why um, I didn't post a video last week um, but I thought I should say now just that um, I am so excited to see that there's so many new people on my channel again this this um, in these past couple of weeks like it, it really is amazing to me I, I never thought I would get this kind of following and I just wanted to welcome all of you um, guys who are new and thank everybody who was here before um, just for sticking around and I hope that you guys keep enjoying my videos and um, if you have anything you'd like me to try that um, you leave it in the comments because I actually do often before I start making a video just check through the most recent comments and see what people are asking for and that's actually how I decided on doing this challenge today um, so yeah, I do listen to your guys' feedback and uh, if you have a challenge or anything that you'd like me to do or something you'd like me to talk about, definitely tell me and I'll try to make sure that I make that video in the near future. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting, I don't want to jinx it, but we're getting dangerously close to 100k, which is like, <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. Um, so yeah, just thank you guys so much. Um, but I hope, I hope any of you who are going through finals right now, or if you're sick or anything like that, or even just the stress of trying to get um, gifts and stuff in the holiday season, that uh, you take good care of yourself and you're taking it easy every once in a while. So I'm using that navy color because it's the darkest one to do my lines. Um, it's actually looking very close to black um, when I use it this way. Um, and I'm drawing little moon and star sort of <laughs> drawings in her eyes. Um, just because I thought that her this whole color palette reminded me of like the night sky or the ocean um, so I wanted to try to corp incorporate that into her design even though mainly this design is pretty thoughtless it's just sort of like a cute a cute girl design that I go to um, <laughs> default but uh, I also you might notice uh, did the arms and hands a little differently they're still not exactly realistic but um, I've been getting a lot of comments about people who think I don't know how to draw um, arms with joints or hands or whatever. Um, I, I assure you it is it is definitely a stylistic choice. Like I, I got into, I don't think I would have got into my art college if I didn't know how to do regular human anatomy. I just, I really enjoyed the, the rubber hose style of doing arms because um, it is it's so like silly looking and I kind of like that. Um, but I thought for this one, I might as well do like a proper um, sort of pose. Just because, uh, 
you know, it's it's good to change things up every once in a while. Um, but yeah, anatomy anatomy is tough, and um, I've been asked to do an anatomy video as well, which I think should be interesting because again, there are people who I think don't realize that artists. Um, can do a multitude of styles and if they're doing like rubber hose or you know the weird hands I draw that perhaps they don't know how to draw hands um, so if I do that anatomy video at least maybe it'll put those comments to rest um, and hopefully it will be helpful uh, anatomy is something that's pretty difficult I think for a lot of artists just because it is kind of precise and um, there's a lot of ways it can go wrong but um, yeah I'll, I'll definitely look into making that um, because it is, you know, it, it's something that plagues so many artists trying to get it right, um, especially when you're first starting out. So um, I'm flatting in some blacks uh, just to sort of define certain shapes. Um, the sketch I'm working off is off of is really loose, so I'm having some issues with the inking, trying to figure out um, where I want everything to go because it was so like sloppy. Um, but I actually kind of prefer to work to ink off a very loose sketch and, and only use it as a rough guideline. Um, I would say the hardest color to use in this palette was this blue that I'm trying to incorporate now. It's it's just, um, it's a lot more bright than the other colors, um, which can be really good, but I just needed to figure out a way to make it look nice with everything else. Um, I'm cropping it now because I don't like how the legs look and that's, uh, that's another really nice thing about Photoshop, so I guess you could do that in real life. Like sometimes when I'd mess up the legs on a drawing or some part of the drawing, I'd just literally cut it off, um, which you can do. So now I'm giving myself a little bit of a broader um, uh, color options just by mixing them together in lower opacities off to the side, and I decided to use that to shade. Um, because, it, yeah, when you're given three colors, uh, it's good to try to make new ones out of the mixtures just to uh, expand your palette a little bit. It'll still look um, within the same palette but it just gives you a little bit more flexibility. Um, and I decided to try to find a marker type brush to use for the shading because then I thought that would be like sort of a nod to the original challenge. I believe I believe it was Bailey J, um, the art YouTuber who started or popularized this, this challenge so um, yeah definitely uh, look at hers because I'm sure they're really cool. I, I think I watched them a while ago. Um, I believe she's done a couple uh, at this point and, and I know Draw With Jazza has also done this. Um, so that's cool. I just love that there's an art community on, on YouTube. Like it, it didn't always used to have so many niches and I think that's a really cool thing about as YouTube ages and um, becomes bigger and bigger. There's, there's room for so many different types of YouTubers. Like I didn't know this but there's like there's like YouTubers who just like focus on like plumbing and film theory and uh, pretty much anything you can imagine. So basically, um, no matter who you are, what you do, you could potentially make a YouTube channel and I think that that's really awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be part of this um, community. I think it's really, it could be really great. I mean obviously there's a there's certain reputation of the comment section and whatever, but I think overall YouTube is a really great and creative place and I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Before I forget, I should probably mention the program I'm using is Photoshop CS6. I did not pirate it. Um, the brushes I'm using are all from the Kyle T. Webster Mega Brush Pack. If you look up those terms in Google, you will be able to find his website and all of his brushes and brush packs that he has to offer. The uh, tablet I'm using is a Intuos 4 uh, medium size. I got that from Wacom. Um, and I recommend it. I'm not sure if they sell them anymore though. It has been a while. I believe I got it when I was 14 or 15, so that's it's quite an old tablet at this point, but it's still working pretty well. Um, and I am capturing this with QuickTime, uh, the, the actual like footage of drawing this. Um, and yeah, I believe that's most of the frequently asked questions. I will be making a FAQ video sooner rather than later. So this is the final product. Um, I think she turned out pretty great. Like the color scheme was really quite easy. I think if I do this again, I might generate more color palettes until I find one that's a bit more difficult to use because they really went together quite well and I really enjoyed this challenge. I hope you guys had fun too, even though it wasn't super hard. Special thank you to all of my patrons, including at Liv Likes to Draw, Paynamel, Sorau, 
Caitlin Fossey, Luna Sabroso, Adrian Delport, and Adrian Morales. All of their credits are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.